Welcome back to Nuts' Fine Findings, a moment of vain joy in a life of pain. Let's start with a colossal finding. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you get it? I got a wonderful American copy of Shadow of the Colossus, so now I have the game in all regions. Gameplay soon on stream, you gotta follow me to see it through. At some point, somebody in my stream revealed to me that Rogue Galaxy by level 5 is kind of a spiritual successor to Dark Cloud and I was immediately sold. I searched for a good offer and got myself this nice American copy. Later, I also found a happy Japanese copy for a good price, so now I'm just missing the European edition, which is pretty great. I got myself the second best Spyro game ever made. I've never ever played a Hero's Tale and can't wait to see how it is. Then I got myself the very best Spyro game ever made. Will you look at that? A happy little copy of Enter the Dragonfly. I don't really know if I have the guts to invest time in this. got this copy of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force Evolution for one buck, so pretty good bargain. The plan was to grab it for the manual, which I thought I was missing on another copy of the game I had. Turns out my first copy was also complete, so I guess I'll need a supplement for my memory. <laughs> I spent another one and a half bucks on a PC copy of Prince of Persia Warrior Within. I already owned it on GOG, but I can't ever have enough of the Saints trilogy. I finally got myself an American copy of Ico. Now I own this majestic game on all three regions and just need to grab some sneaky rental and standard European version, as well as the PS3 remasters. Over a year ago, I asked my friend Baronum Red from the Italian speedrun community to help me get in an import Nendoroid figure, and I finally received it. It's nothing special, but For a very low price, I snagged the school PC copy of Silent Hill Homecoming, easily the best game in the franchise. Needless to say that the Steam code had already been redeemed, and I'm not willing to pay for a brand new key. I already played this on a PS3 years ago anyway, and I doubt I'll ever feel the need to revisit it. Now this was supposed to be a cool deal, Biohazard 4 in its regular PS2 edition. The case and cover were in pretty funky conditions, but I still had hopes, and those were ultimately crashed when I discovered that the disc had a massive scratch and wasn't readable. I'm not mad at all. <laughs> I had a lot of fun playing Dragon Ball Z Infinite World as a kid, so this Japanese copy for a super fair price was just necessary. It's a blast to find Findings Edition for Spyro, isn't it? With this copy of Eternal Night, I have the full trilogy and just really need to get the handheld version and all the regional versions. And maybe play them? I don't know, what do you think? Oh, that's something else. An American copy of Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Awesome game and awesome movie. I can't recommend this game enough and there is no need to since it's already praised enough. For the price I paid, this was a no-brainer. 